how are you today? I am just trying to uh, get all these buttons pushed here. Wonderful. Okay, so, hey, it's Dr. Annette, and guess what? It's a new year, and you can either take that as a blessing or you can take it as a curse, but I figure if you're still alive and it's the second day of 2019, that you should be excited to be alive, you should be happy to be going forward, you should be super excited at this point to be where you are in this space, and you should also be ready to take on this new year by storm. So I know that New Year's resolutions, people talk about those a lot, and they say that New Year's resolutions are bogus and that people don't follow through with them because they don't take them seriously but it is an opportunity for a fresh start. And I don't know about you, but over the holidays, what I found that I caught myself doing, and I've probably done this forever and I just didn't know that I was doing it, was that I knew that once the holidays were over, I was gonna buckle down and get back into doing all the things that I normally do, which kind of gave me permission to cheat. And um, cheating for me is not usually a very good option because it ends up with, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm all nasally today because I managed to um, let myself get weak. I let my immune system get weak and my grandchildren came along with the holidays and they brought some amazing cold virus with them that now all of us adults have in the house and we're all creeping and hacking and coughing and can't breathe out of our nose. And by the way, the kids have all recovered and they feel great. Normally, I don't get sick. I, I rarely ever get sick. And I typically don't get too concerned if somebody comes around me who is sick because I know that I have my immune system well supported and under control. And I typically don't have any problems with that. And when I'm around other people, I just remember to wash my hands and I eat healthy. So um, over the next um, few weeks, I want to be talking about, um, we're going to continue on the poop talk subject. We're also going to be talking about how to keep yourself healthy, how to prevent things like the common cold from getting a hold of you, and how to be healthy, stay healthy, get yourself at a, a healthy weight, and remain healthy for the rest of this year. And um, I'm doing it with you because I let myself go, I gained weight, I've actually, um, I've been drinking my ketones every day but I haven't been eating a healthy diet. I've been, of course, avoiding gluten because I have no other option. I have to avoid gluten, but I've been eating grains. I've been eating pancakes, you know, gluten-free pancakes. Um, and I've been allowing sugar into my life, which um, I've actually proved to myself that sugar is the devil. And um, I'm going to um, completely get rid of sugar out of my life again forever. <laughs> I eat sugar. Sugar's the devil. If you eat sugar, you should rethink it. So um, my tip for January 2nd, 2019, if you haven't already started thinking about cutting sugar out of your life, you need to cut sugar out of your life and you need to cut all sugar substitutes out of your life. The only thing you should be using, using to sweeten foods is stevia and erythritol and the occasional monk fruit, but I don't even think you should have monk fruit on a daily basis. Um, but stevia actually, if it's natural raw stevia, actually helps improve your body's ability to deal with sugar. Isn't that awesome? And erythritol is a sugar alcohol, so it doesn't spike insulin and neither does stevia. Monk fruit does spike insulin a little bit, so that's why I say you shouldn't use it regularly. But our goal for 2019 should be to reduce the, um, the reduce the amount of times that our body needs to use insulin in a day, reduce the amount of sugar that we're taking in, reduce the amount of sugar substitutes we're taking in, because those are chemicals. The chemicals don't make you healthy. And sugar and sugar substitutes kill your beneficial gut bacteria. So that is why your immune system takes a dump whenever you mess up your your um, intestines. So that's what happened to me. I let sugar get a hold of me and my immune system took a dive because my gut was not as healthy as it should have been. So starting right away, we are back on it. We are starting a 60 hour detox starting today. We're going to be healthy this week. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to do our 60 hour detox. I'm going to use my, my bone broth, which is um, salted caramel, French onion, and coconut curry. Those are my favorites. We also have a thyme one, which I don't care for, but 
There's, we have four different options for that. So I'm using that as my staple because it has collagen and gut repair and helps with um, your mucosal membranes and all of that because I need to get my body back to being healthy so that I can whip this cold that has gripped me and I'm so sad. But I'm also using um, things like, I, I have a thing that's called Immunoberry, which has um, elderberry syrup in it, along with a lot of other things that I use to help boost my immune system. So I'm gonna be using a lot of that. I'm gonna be using my favorite um, silver product, was, which is Argentin 23. I'll be using that. If you guys are interested in finding out how to get your hands on those, just let me know. I can tell you where I get them from. But um, my goal is to get myself back to healthy, get back on the boat, and I wanna take anybody who wants to go with me along and if you're interested in finding out more, just send me a message and I'm happy to share that with you. So I'm gonna keep this short for today because I honestly don't feel that fabulous. So I'm gonna get off of here and I'm gonna to try to get my work done so that I can get some rest because guess what? Resting also helps you heal. So if you're sick, you need to get rest, you need to get sleep, you need to drink lots of fluids and get that vitamin C and that silver in your body as much as possible. So. Let me know if you need some additional help. Let me know if you're interested in following along. I'll let you know how you can join my group so you can stay everything that's going on. Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a great 2019. Let's all do this together and get healthy and stay that way. Thanks.